Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Now. Welcome, welcome, mom bosses all over the world. It's another amazing Thursday, and that means it's time for another great discussion with the mom bosses. We are so happy and excited that you are joining us. This show is three mom bosses bringing you real life, real experiences to empower you as a mom boss. I am one of your hosts. Jerisha Moore Smith, and I am the CEO and owner of Empower on Purpose in EV Radio and the mom of four. I'm Tiana, owner and CEO of Mental Massage LLC and mom boss of three. And I am Monetta Hamilton, owner of La Allure Couture, and I am the mom of two. So, ladies, I think this topic is very um, important because it kind of takes us back to childhood and we're looking and seeing what our children are doing today. Um, We're looking at children um, entrepreneurs. So when it comes to children being entrepreneurs, especially in this day of age, I think it's fantastic because I think a lot of kids nowadays have so much more at their fingertips. They don't have to kind of build so much from scratch, you know, they have, you know, the different social media, so they're able to grab the attention of everybody. And I think today, in today's age, technology has really boosted the entrepreneurial spirit in our children. Now, for me, when I was a kid, I don't think I really thought about entrepreneurship as much. Um, I did, I think, you know, maybe middle school, maybe high school, I thought about, you know, owning a business and seeing what I could do, but it was always that fear of um, what do I do, where do I start, you know, I don't know anybody to get these things going. So as a kid for myself, it wasn't, you know, prevalent, it wasn't something that was um, really big or something on my mind, especially back then, you know, I was in the cusp of, not having technology to the technology starting to be, you know, um, or having very little technology for the, until today where technology is everywhere. And I think these kids mm-hmm. today are doing so freaking amazing. Um, mm-hmm. Like, for instance, my children, they are, you know, especially my son, he's looking at a bigger picture. He's only eight. He's looking at owning land and building a building for his ideas. He's already told me, Mom, don't be putting my ideas out there like that. <laughs> so I have to keep I have to keep it a wrap. But just know, just know he has some big plans. And as his mother, I'm like, I'm gonna do whatever mm-hmm. I can do to make your dreams come true. I might not have all the resources, I might not have all the money in the world, but baby, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna make it That's happen. Right. Okay. <laughs> so don't worry That's about it. Right. Mama's gonna have your back. Even if we have to struggle to get there, I'm like, I want to see my children, you know, get to where they want to get in life. I want their dreams Mm -hmm. to come true. And being an entrepreneur, of course, it's not for everybody. Everybody don't want to own a business. You know what I'm saying? But those Mm -hmm. who do, I think it's really um, important that we nurture that seed Mm -hmm. and to help them grow as much as possible. Um, So that being said, ladies, so what are your um, thoughts on children being entrepreneurs? How about you, Dresha? So this is a very interesting topic, and I really love it because mm-hmm. I'll tell you that with my four, one, you know, my youngest being uh, eight and then um, my oldest being 22, we have had conversations even from the 8-year-old all the way up to the 20-year, 22-year-old, just yeah. about, you know, owning your own business, being an entrepreneur. And I'll even tell you from my own experience and just going back, again, similar to yourself, I can't say that I was, you know, 
their age, like, oh, I can't wait to own my own business. But certainly there mm-hmm. were, you know, I was exposed to, you know, an environment where, you know, my dad had his own and he was working on his own business and, you know, some other family members and all of that. And, of course, that piqued the interest. And as you mentioned, yeah. back in the day, you know, technology is was not where it is now. Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. you know, things looked a little different as the entrepreneur and thinking back to, you know, like the lemonade stands and some of that as far as mm. kids. Nowadays, kids are, you know, on YouTube and, I mean, yes. <laughs> so much that they're doing, having their own lip gloss and T-shirts and mm-hmm. everything else. And for me, it's really an interesting conversation because, me being an entrepreneur myself, I really had to, you know, my kids see me. They see me. They know how important it is for me to be, you know, really living in my purpose and and um, helping and empowering others. And so because they see that, of course, that's going to pique their interest. And they, you know, they know that, okay, at the end of the day, as we all do, we're teaching them that, you know, you don't always have to work that nine to five. There's other mm-hmm. options. And I think it's important for us, at least during this conversation, to really talk about how not just, oh, you know, because we know all of our kids have or are, have either discovered that entrepreneur side or mindset yeah. or they're saying or in the process of discovering that or maybe they're already working on some kind of business or building some kind of business. And so I just think that for me, it has really been how can I empower them? How Mm. can I empower my eight-year-old? How can I empower my teenagers? And then even my son, who actually, you know, just launched his own business. And, um, And when he did, it came at a point where he just knew it was a skill that he had. And guess what? It developed into a business that he continues to have customers and everything else for. And um, you know what I'm saying? So it's just Mm -hmm. I think that we know that our kids have that entrepreneur mindset. I really think that it's so important for us to empower our kids through that process and really encourage them to be creative and, you know, Think about how they can really build on those skills and really put them in situations and to where they can build upon those skills and how they do it and really looking for those opportunities. Because reality is this day and age with society, and we all know within the last year, so many things have changed where before mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you know, even with the um, the pandemic, and I think it just put so many things in perspective for us, yeah. let alone our kids. You know, going back to my my uh, my college student who is in school to be a you know a physical therapist, but at the same time, they know I have always taught them you do not put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. So with that being said, mm-hmm. you need to have multiple mm-hmm. streams. You may not want to just be that entrepreneur, you know, for a time, but you need to have multiple mm-hmm. streams. And if you have a skill, you best believe that you can build that skill and turn it into a business. So um, that is my take on it. I think this is a great topic, especially when there's so many kids out there, not just our children, but so many kids out there that are utilizing these platforms. They, I mean, just on a whole nother level, and I have to really say YouTube again because I am yeah. seeing kids and, uh, you know, all ages really just, and of course their parents is there to help them and empower them, but that's the thing, having a parent that's going to empower that within them. So how do you, mm-hmm. Kiana, I would love to hear your take, but I also would love for us to even talk about when our kids say, you know what? I really may want to um, start that YouTube or start my own business. How do we really empower them through that? So, Kiana, what is what has been your take on on children um, entrepreneurs? Well, it's so interesting just listening to the both of you, and you know, we're all not far off in age, you know. But for those that don't know, Teresha and I have known each other for many years. So, when you were talking about the whole computers, I remember even us, you know, learning how to build computers. And, you know, that's, yeah. well, I really aged us. Look, I just really aged right. us in there. Maybe I could have kept that to myself. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, um, in regards to that, 
Um, I think off and on over the years when I was younger, I I always felt that within myself, maybe not knowing how I wanted to, you know, build that. But, you know, I just remember, you know, always thinking, oh, well, and, and I guess maybe that was the era we grew up in also, just all not going to say get rich quick schemes, but all the, the yeah. things that were put out, you know, during those times on TV, you know, oh, do this and buy this kit and you can be making this type of income. So I can't say that mm-hmm. I didn't have peaks of interest, you know, when I was younger, but just not really knowing what and how. Um, yeah. But over the years, um, you know, just, and it's so interesting because, you know, my oldest being 22 as well and my youngest being six, of course, you know, just learning and growing my own entrepreneur spirit over the year, you know, mm-hmm. seeing how I I have I have done that with my, with my children as well. You know, here, my six-year-old, you know, when we have playtime, our playtime is, oh, we own a business. This is our restaurant. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know, oh, you know, those are the types of play scenarios we have, yeah. you know, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. One, because I'm trying to get my own work done and just so she has a better understanding <laughs> of when I'm needing that time for myself. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm yeah. doing. You know, I'm working at home. I own my own business. You know, so, hey, in playtime, we own our own business. And so I think that has definitely led to – her creativity, even at that age, you know, really um, expanding, you know, one minute, you know, she's wanting to do YouTube videos. Um, I forget, I think it was VTEC that put out within the last year or two, you know, little video cams for kids to start producing Mm -hmm. their own YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, she has one of those, she has her own video cameras, but, you know, we do all types of different things as far as that she says she's interested in. I'm not pushing either way, but just knowing yeah. you have options and you can do anything that you put your mind to. And so that's kind of how I've changed and shifted over the years. Not that I ever before was pressing the issue of, oh, you have to go to school, you have to get, you know, yeah. a degree to be able to do certain things, but I kind of let mm-hmm. them find that within themselves because I know at times mm-hmm. I've felt that pressure. Oh, no, this is what you need to be doing instead of what you want to be doing. And, you know, exactly. sometimes you just have to step out on your own and follow your own voice. You can't go off of what mm-hmm. other people's limitations that they put on you. Yeah, exactly. Because I was I was actually um just thinking back, like if you if you are a parent who is not an entrepreneur yourself and you do have a a full time job but your child has a different vision and they're seeing themselves in a different space, a different atmosphere, owning their own things, um, that support is very necessary. Um when it comes to mm-hmm. YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. I haven't utilized it yet. However, <laughs> I will be. Um, my but my son is actually, um, you know, he's the more um, extrovert of the two, and he's ready to put himself out there. Um, and he's mm-hmm. like, you know, I just got him a new computer. He's like, Mom, I, I want to start recording videos. And he's like, I have all these ideas of what I want to do. And I think that it's a good idea. It kind of helps them. Um, you know, of course, the skills, um, production, and, you know, that creativity gets gets them going. Mm-hmm. So I think YouTube is a very good starter platform for kids, especially if they're, they're not afraid to be in front of a camera or if they're not afraid mm-hmm. to speak. So I think that that's a really good um, space to go into. Um, he's, he's ready to go jump into it. Me, I'm still like – on the cusp, you know, so that's the introvert in me, like, okay, girl, you better do it. <laughs> you better go do it. So I'm kind of, and I think, you know, that's a good thing about kids is they're great leaders, even to adults. <laughs> yes. People don't see yes. that, okay? I'll, Everyone look yes. at kids, mm-hmm. and they look at kids as these, you know, un, um, unknowledgeable, they don't, they don't know what they, they haven't been through life enough to know mm-hmm. what X, Y, and Z mm-hmm. is. That is not mm-hmm. true. These kids in this generation are beyond intelligent Mm -hmm. okay they see things they call things as they see them okay they're great observers and they they take the the technology and they utilize it 
um, for for a great cause. Most of them mm-hmm. are, you know, growing up in impoverished areas or they don't have um, the means to do X, Y, and Z, so they get very creative. These kids are mm-hmm. beyond, they are our future. As cliche as it sounds, they are our future. We have to put more trust in them because they're seeing things that we don't see. As you can see on TikTok, TikTok is for – Technically, it's mostly for the younger generation, but they've encouraged the older generation to do some things, you know, and to get out there and push ourselves as well. You know, so I think kids should really be, you know, listened to a little bit more because they have a lot of power in their voice, and people don't seem to recognize it. So, I mean, that's that's my take. I think YouTube is a very good platform. For anybody, especially for kids, especially trying to wake up their entrepreneurial spirit and get it to rise. Okay, see, I'm, I'm on some poetic stuff today, y'all. So, right, <laughs> I'm on some poetic stuff today, y'all. So, I'm just trying to, you know, it, it, it really, when it comes to kids, I think my vision is bigger, you know, because me being mm-hmm. having the personality that I have, I I observe a lot, and when I sit back and mm-hmm. I see kids, you know doing things for the betterment of not only themselves but for the community, it really, like, it gives me energy. And then seeing my kids as well show so much talent and so much interest because, like, um, mm-hmm. you were saying, Kiana, about, you know, you're not going to put pressure on your children to do X, Y, and Z. I completely agree. I tell my kids, hey, you have options. You don't have to go to college if you want right. to. However, I want you to have a plan. I want you to build something so that way you don't fall flat. And I am going to be there to, you know, guide you as much as I can. I'm going to, you know, I want to set some things aside, help them build, you know, funds, um, like their bank account. You can't touch that. Mm-hmm. You know, I want them to be smart with their money. I wasn't, <laughs> you know, because sometimes you don't have that support system, especially I think for the older generation, we didn't have that support to go into entrepreneurship Absolutely. anyway, mm-hmm. you know, because in their whole thing is you have to work. You have to work to survive. That's right. That's but no, right. We, yeah, so like that's what we're not surviving. We're not living. We're just surviving. <laughs> and, then, mm-hmm. you know, I'm yeah. like, I want to live. I want to be able to say with this life that I've done something, I left some type of legacy. It doesn't have to be for anyone else but my family. I want to be able to say I did this, my kids benefit from what I did. And it's not necessarily just from working. And don't get me wrong, listeners, there's nothing wrong with working. But if you, have a, you have to have a purpose of what you, when you're doing what you're doing, even when it comes to a nine-to-five. So, ladies, you're <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's good. I love that. So I'm like, you know, a few things that you said, and I'm like, yes, yes, and yes. And when you <laughs> said that, you know, kids are leaders, because <laughs> let me just say that I wasn't on TikTok, okay? And now I, yeah. I love all of the different platforms, social media platforms, but I was not on TikTok. But when it Neither. was musically, I think it was, my yeah. kids had been on there, and I had been watching them. And I'm like, they just get on there and just, you know, just go. It's like no fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you know what, we can learn from that because, you know, some of us out there can probably say that, you know, the fear of going live on any of the social media platforms, like that fear is like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to do this. But yet, yeah. when you have that young person that hops on there with no problem, they may not even have very much to say, but they're going to yeah. get on there because. So I have definitely learned from my own kids, and just mm-hmm. to put yourself out there. We know as entrepreneurs, you have to put your business out there. So I have made yeah. it my point to make sure my business is represented on every last one of the platforms, and I'm happy to say I'm on TikTok now, too. Yeah. And I love it at a point where my kids are like, well, Mom, why are you on TikTok? So <laughs> I don't know if your kids have said that to y'all, but they have asked, well, why are you on TikTok? I'm like, because I can be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is a great platform, too, because you said that as well. YouTube is a Mm -hmm. really, really great platform, and especially for those young entrepreneurs. I can remember when my youngest, and I'm trying to think of how old she was, when she was like, Mom, I want to start a YouTube video. 
And I'm like, our YouTube channel. And I'm like, what kind of YouTube channel? You know, I'm thinking, like, I know how much work goes into my own. So I'm like, what yeah. kind of YouTube channel? Like, how is that working? You know, so it gets them to thinking. And I've always encouraged every last one of my kids, no matter what it is, what kind of business idea they may have, you have to put that down on paper. But at the same time, mm -hmm. when they bring it to me, I'm like, have you written it down? Let's write it down. Mm -hmm. Let's put the ideas down. And then let's start to plan for that. So with my youngest, of mm -hmm. course, things might work a little differently because of, you know, I think then she may have been five or six or however she, however old she was. But she literally was like, I want to do you know, I think she mentioned like a gaming or something like that channel. Yeah. And of, of course, at that point, she didn't even have, like, we didn't even have that kind of game system. I'm like, so you go use your brother. <laughs> I think it was because it just appealed to her so much. She just wanted to have a space, have a platform. And I encourage yeah. that. I empower that. I think as moms, as mom bosses, we have to empower that within our kids. And, I, you know, we would encourage everyone out there that's listening, if you have a child that has come to you that has interest, don't, you know, we have a tendency because we're so busy to kind of push, off, push things off to the side. Yeah. We need to empower and encourage our kids in the ideas yeah. they're coming up, you know, they're coming up with. Let's sit down at the table and talk about some of the things, you know, the ideas and see how, you know, we can bring those ideas to, you know, reality and really help them with the planning and the building so they can grow. So um, I thought that was really, really, really good, and I, I love that because ultimately we're wanting to build a legacy, not just yeah. for our kids but for even generations after. And I think that's something that we all can do together, you know, not exactly. just with our own businesses but even the businesses, the entrepreneurs that, you know, we're, we're actually raising. So, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love that. I just love that. So I had to give my, you know, my two cents. <laughs> well. Yeah. And, and I also think, too, with um, – and I'm going to bring up one, um, one, one girl that – I don't know her personally, but you, you may know her. She's an actress. Her name is Marce Martin. I hope I'm saying her first name correctly. But she has become the youngest executive producer ever. And I think, like, she's 15 now, but I think it had happened when she was, like, 14, maybe, maybe wow. a little younger than that. But she's producing movies, TV shows. Like, she is, you know, an epitome of entrepreneurial, like, spirit out there. She's a beautiful girl, um, very, um, a very good role model in a sense, um, I would say. Mm -hmm. She's very well-spoken. Um, and she knows what she wants. She wants to uplift, you know, especially with the black community, she wants to uplift the community. She doesn't want to, um, I, know, I know she stated something of, like, I'm, I don't want to put black pain in my work. She's like, I want us mm. to be seen other than our pain in our past. And I'm like, this is coming from a teenager, not even grown adults yeah. have, that, have that mindset of, like, okay, the tables have has to be turned. We have to show us in a different light. Um, so I think that's brilliant. Um, mm -hmm. You know, she's one of very many, you know, young adults um, who are, you know, like I said before, bringing their voice to the table and showing, you know, us adults, other kids, that it's possible to, you know, have your vision come to light. You know, and I've been following her. I think I follow her on on most of my platform, um, mm -hmm. and she's she's beautiful, and I and I love it. And I follow a few others. Um, like I have no shame because you can learn from these people, from these young Absolutely. people. And with the TikTok, my daughter had to talk me into getting TikTok. I had TikTok for a <laughs> while. I was just sitting there, you know, and I, and, and I go into those things where it's like I'm just going to spend like ten minutes scrolling, and then an hour pass. I'm like, what? happened <laughs> like oh my gosh tiktok can be very addictive because people are so brilliant these kids yes, these are. teenagers they're brilliant like the things they come up with with very little mm -hmm. equipment very little yes. production nothing and i'm like wow so i did my third um my third tiktok and i saw movement i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm very like i'm, I'm excited about it okay so mm -hmm. I'm trying to, you know, like you were saying with going live, like I see a lot of these teenagers going live, and like you said, a lot of times they don't have the, you know, 
a topic and they're just on there just having just engaging with their people. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm going live. And I just did it. I didn't think about it no more. I just turned it on and I started talking. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So it's like the motive, their motive, it's like a motivation thing, okay? It's like if we motivate each other, inspire Mm -hmm. each other to move, you know, to move how we normally wouldn't move and to grow and to, you know, get to a point where we want, that's amazing. So social media, I'm still learning, okay? <laughs> I'm I'm getting inspiration from these youngins, so you know. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it's a it's definitely a learning, <laughs> it's a journey, yeah. it's a process that we're all on. Yes, 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 but it's just it's so amazing to have, um, you know, it's amazing to have the conversation. It's amazing to be able to really empower our own kids. Um, I'll share mm-hmm. this and then Kiana, you know, if you want to share um, something and then before we close out. But um, so I had mentioned that my son, of course, my oldest, he um, he has, you know, a skill. He's very, very, very good with uh, painting and um, drawing and, and all of that. So he, um, he started, uh, I'm trying to think how he actually, so I think he had painted a pair of his own shoes or you know, was just playing around and, you know, playing around with it. And um, he ended up either wearing the shoes and someone seen it and they were like, hey, where'd you get those shoes? And he was like, you know, the, I actually, you know, created this. So I painted um, the shoes. I, and, um, yeah. <laughs> and so from there, that was like, you know, his first customer came. And fast forward, um, my goodness, I know it's been over a couple of years that literally mm. he has been able to stack money um, in his, nice. you know, business PayPal account because of the fact that he has been painting shoes, even had an opportunity, um, you know, to potentially paint someone that's well-known. And so I'm like, nice. you just okay. never know. You yeah. never know what the skills and You know, I'm like, that right there is your side mm-hmm. hustle. You are an entrepreneur. You don't realize that, you know, yeah. but yes, exactly what you are. And you've built that, you know, you've built that name for yourself. And so, um, again, that's where he has that mom that's going to really empower him. Um, but I wanted to throw that out there because, you know, I definitely think all of our kids have made us proud with uh, yeah. wanting to follow in our footsteps. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I mm-hmm. love what you're doing. I see what you're doing, yeah. and I want to do it, but I'm sure they'll do it way better. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But <laughs> exactly. it's you know, amazing to be able to have that conversation. So any last words that you ladies want to share before we close out? Um, I don't – I think everybody, you know, um, pretty much covered everything that I was – you know, wanted to or would have touched on. I want to say, I, I, I will say, you know, when just looking back at everything that we talked about, another thing that was uh, my net, to touch on what Manietta said, you know, when we were growing up, a lot of our parents or just parents in general or the older generations weren't necessarily encouraging entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. if there was mm-hmm. that in the family, it was like, okay, well, we're going to groom you to continue our business, not, you know, yeah. support and you finding your passion and going after it. And I think that's mm-hmm. really a big difference from, you know, how we grew up to how things are now. These kids are, like you said, you know, sometimes being the forefront and where the parents are coming along, you know, based off of what, mm-hmm. you know, them being fearless and going after what they want. And I just love it. I think it's mm-hmm. great. Yeah. In my last words, I would, I would say, you know, adults, do not be afraid to allow your child to lead in certain areas, okay? Mm-hmm. Don't discourage, you know, um, just support them, even if it doesn't work out how you or your child envisions it, they tried. And that's what we want them to do is to try. And if they don't get it right the first time, let them try again. Let them keep trying until they see or get to where they want to be. Don't discredit. Do not discredit young people's minds because they're bigger than what you think, okay? So that's just my last little tidbit. Yes, absolutely. As we shared, this has been a really great 
topic to discuss, and we know that all of the moms out there listening, I'm sure you have kids that either have said, yes, I want a YouTube, I want a TikTok, I want to start, launch my own business. Please, please, please jump into our Facebook group and, you know, send us some comments about the show. We would love to hear more. Um, If you have stories you want to share, if you, you know, just want to leave some kind of comments about the show, please do so in our Mom Boss uh, Talk Radio Facebook group. You know, like like always, we always have some amazing topics that we love talking about, and we would love to have your input as well. Please, 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 if you have any kind of suggestions as far as topics, you would love to hear us talk about. Again, hop into our Facebook group and leave the comments in there. Today has been absolutely amazing. We all have, um, you know, the entrepreneur mindset, the entrepreneurs working on our businesses. But at the end of the day, we have children that are watching and that says, okay, I want to start my own business. I want to launch that, launch my business. And it's our job as parents to really teach and empower our kids about entrepreneurship, which means encourage, encouraging them um, mm-hmm. and really helping them create that strong and creative uh, mindset also building upon the skills, and then as we mentioned, really looking for those opportunities, and we definitely know those opportunities will come as we have shared. So we are so glad that you tuned in. We are Mom Bosses on a mission to empower moms all over the world. Mom Bosses, please remember to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. You are making moves. So until next time, Be blessed and stay safe. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time. 